I've currently been working on building this down firing ported subwoofer enclosure. And now in this video, what I need to do is I need to do the final upholstery. We're going to wrap our insert with upholstery vinyl. We're going to wrap the rest of the enclosure with carpet. And I'm going to give you guys some tips and ideas on the best practices for doing this along the way. I'm Mark. Welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the show where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Without further ado, let's get into this. The most important thing before we actually get started with the upholstery process is proper planning. Now, if you guys watched the woodworking stage, you know that I made sure that my gap between my vinyl wrapped piece and the rest of the box, which will be wrapped in carpet, I made sure that this is precise for that exact gap. In other words, these materials obviously have thickness to them and I want to account for that thickness while I'm wrapping. But also in the meantime, between videos, I did attach this outside shape here to the box. And if I take this box and flip it over, you can see that I did some black paint on some of the areas that I know I'm going to have carpet transitions and I wanna make sure that we don't have this glowing color of the normal wood coming through. I also wanna make sure that I'm good and prepared with obviously the materials, but also some of the tools and preparing my area in order to do this upholstery process. In this video, I'm gonna be using a pneumatic spray gun. So I've got that here along with my cup. I've got the upholstery adhesive material. I've got some sharp scissors along with a Ulfa knife with a brand new sharp blade. I've got some rosin paper to protect my work surface, upholstery carpet and upholstery vinyl. So we're prepared to start this process, but really quick, what do you do when you need to prepare for starting a car audio project, when you need help picking out the gear? For that, I wanna take a quick second and thank my show sponsor, Crutchfield. On the Crutchfield website, we can enter the year, make, and model of our vehicle, and they've done a bunch of research so we can see what head units will potentially fit into the car, what speakers will fit, and what other gear is compatible. Many times you're going to need speaker adapters, you might need a head unit fit kit, you're going to need wiring harnesses, and many times with a qualifying purchase, Crutchfield will also throw in that gear for your install. To learn more about Crutchfield and take advantage of a special offer for car audio fabrication fans, check out the link here on screen or down in the video description. I'm ready to go, let's do some upholstery. Here's an important tip for when you're starting your upholstery process. I recommend that you start with having your piece on top of your vinyl, even though you're spraying the front side of it. The advantage of this is I now have the front of the wooden piece sprayed, but now I have a nice outline on my vinyl piece so I know exactly where to apply the material without wasting it. The way that contact adhesive works is we want to make sure that it's good and dry before we stick the two pieces of material together, and that's because contact adhesive works by adhering to itself. I can now apply more adhesive to the back side of the panel that I'm going to be wrapping the material around and tucking into, and I allow that to dry before I start making my cuts. The hardest part to wrapping is always these small inside corners, so I always cut some relief cuts before I push these little fingers of material up into the corner and secure them on the back side of the panel. You can now see the reasoning behind adding the rabbited groove that I did in the woodworking process. It gives me a little step to guide my knife and cut the material away. This process is repeated on both the inside and outside of the shape. I'm securing my acrylic logo insert to the back side here using some black automotive tape. And I like to do this because this cloth tape has some sound insulating properties that prevent it from vibrating against the top of the box. So our insert here is looking good, nice and wrapped, nice and finished. The corners turned out really well because we took our time, made sure that we really wrapped into them nice and tight. I'm really loving how this dark red, almost wine colored vinyl, it really has a luxurious look. I love how it matches with this gray wood grain. Let's get on to moving along here and doing the carpet on the rest of the enclosure. I've also prepared for this by masking off the port here. I'm just gonna be really careful when I spray around here because that part will be hidden with the sub. Let's start shooting some glue. 
And here we have it, my friends, the finished project. I am really happy with the way that this looks. Check out that gap between the vinyl and the carpet. Very precise, just what we were going for, and that's why we do proper planning. So it looks great, but how does it sound? If you would like to see a new video where I do an audio test, let me know. And if you're new here and wanna catch more videos in the future, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Next time you're planning and choosing car audio gear, be sure to visit our show sponsor Crutchfield at the link here on screen or down in the video description. A special thanks to Lonnie, Ali, William, Marcos, and Jerry, along with the rest of the Patreon membership team. A big thanks to all those guys for making these videos possible and thank you to you for watching. Check out some of the other videos here on screen. Stay safe, my friends, and I hope to see you again soon.